for the gnocchi. Should be a floury potato uh, reduced to a puree. What variety was it? Desiree. 50 grams of flour. An egg. There you are. Easy. This is also very easy, but if you do it, don't do it long in advance because they become soggy and heavy. Now, usually in restaurants you find gnocchi like this. I do something, I press a little bit here to get a shape outside. This is to collect more sauce. That's a minimal little thing, but it's lovely because I don't like them just square as they are. So in two minutes, gnocchi are ready. And funnily enough, the cooking is got so quick. But the relation of the flour and the potato has to be good. So uh, 800 grams of potato, 200 grams of flour, one egg. That's all. You see, for me, cooking, it's a game. I like, and that's why with 77 years, I'm still sort of fussing around. <laughs> and uh, it, it's lovely because the result is always nice and you can make people happy. Look at this. So this is the pesto as it is here. Yeah? He is missing a little bit of oil. We put a little bit of oil, yes, like this, which is made with pine kernels, basil, and uh, garlic, sort of in a wonderful mortar. Now, I show you what to do when you have a pesto like this, and the preparation, even when you have a pesto out of the tin, Yes, that's fine. Just a little bit warm. I had a little bit of water. Yes, it shouldn't uh, cook. You know, it should just be warm and a little bit more fluid. So keep it there. Now the wonder of the gnocchi, cook from the gnocchi, is fantastic because you put it in the boiling water. And when they come to the surface, they are cooked. It goes almost instantly. And it is fantastic. There you are. Now you see they're boiling and uh, they're coming into the surface. Incidentally, obviously, instead of the pesto, you can use truffle again. And they are starting. Do you see them? They're starting to come up. Yeah, they're all at the surface. We scoop them out. We put in, in the pesto. We give it a sort of stir. And they are soft and nice. This is a gnocchi alla genovese. There you are. That's it. So you come to, to your third dish. Thank you for listening, for seeing, for looking, watching. You know, it's lovely to do a demonstration for people that they pay attention. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Middle soul. When they are light like this, I call them angels' farts. <laughs> Ethereal, lovely. <laughs> but from angels. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Antonio. Pleasure. There it is.